Anthony, and I'm here to tell you why we should not reelect Grover Cleveland. He did many horrible things during his pres presidency, and I'm here to tell you what they were. One fact to back me up about why he shouldn't be reelected is the Apache Wars. Instead of trying to get a treaty in order or even fighting the war through, he just had to kidnap their leader. How would he stop another war? Kidnapping a rebellious king and holding a gun to his head? That's not the smartest thing or the safest, and that's not encouraging any treaties. Another thing to back me up is a major sex scandal well under wraps. During a certain trip, he met a nice lady named Halpin and took her to a seafood restaurant. Seems like he was quite the gentleman, especially since he walked her home. But what she wouldn't know is that afterwards he had took her inside and attacked her. And he whispered in her ear before someone came to pick him up. I don't care if it costs 10000 100000 $10 million. I will get you. Afterwards, six weeks later, she discovered she was pregnant with this illegitimate baby. <clears throat> After the baby was born, she had, I mean, Grover had the baby sent to an orphan asylum and Halpin sent to a, lunatic, a home for lunatics. She was released almost immediately because the medical director discovered that she wasn't crazy, she was just sent to due to the corruption of the political elite. And one more fact to back me up is the Panic of 1892. During the eight, 1892, the Pennsylvania and Reading Railroads failed completely, leaving to utter and complete chaos in the USA. The markets crashed, businesses failed, and people were just, it was a panic everywhere. Instead of trying to stop everything, Grover Cleveland, he actually tried to maintain the political elite instead of the whole USA by preserving the National Treasury's goal. During this time, he also passed the the Sherman Silver Purchase Act, which allowed the government only to buy a certain amount of gold and silver each month. During this t time period, gold reserves dropped below $100 million for the first time in decades. Other unpopular policies during this time were him denying poor farmers who were struck by droughts in the West $10,000 in seeds and crops, war veterans with disabilities such as amputated arms, missing eyes, major battle scars, etc. Their money for participating during the wars and doing their best to serve their country. And, like I said, the, Sil the Sherman Silver Purchase Act which put things into even more of a political mess. Unemployment rates were at an all-time high in 1893, and everything was just a major mess. All of the things that he did during his political times were not during his presidency. Everything major was before he became president, such as when he was lawyer, the scandal, governor or mayor when he was governor he ran for president and during the presidency the best all he did was be, make sure that the depression of 1892 didn't get any worse than what it already was in conclusion i think Grover cleveland was a horrible president and that he should never be reelected